That is a fact. You do not appear on TV shows like this, chat shows or anything. I don't know. I'm sure I've done something in ten years, but I can't remember it, you know. <laughs> is it a conscious effort that maybe you don't like answering questions? You stay away from people who might ask questions? Uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll get the one-word answers now. Then. Yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, this is going to be really... Oh, thank you very much for coming, Linda. <laughs> You're very welcome. Do you like a touch of this? <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I need at the moment. You've got a film you're working on, Broad Street. Yeah. And it's not out yet, and it's not coming out for about another nine months. Why? True. Uh, we're still working on the music, doing the uh, score, incidental music. No. <laughs> and it's taking a bit of time, you know, and then they're going to release it, I think, uh, spring of summer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what's, it, what's it about? Uh, it's, a, it's very like Olivia's film, actually. <laughs> There's all this water, you see, and... No. Um, what's it about, seriously? Please. It's, um, the tapes to my new album go missing, and I've got a friend who works for me who used to be a criminal, and people suspect him, and I don't, and that's loosely the plot. <laughs> and then I get into bed with John Travolta. When you're there with him, do, do you sing any songs in this film? Yeah. What, what sort of songs will we be hearing? Uh, um, some old, some new. Something borrowed. Borrowed, something new. <laughs> was, it, was it your idea to make the film, or was it one of these many suggestions you must receive? Uh, no, it was, actually. I wrote it for uh, my sins. So, yeah, it was my idea. And you're in it as well, haven't you, I believe? Alan. Yes, I'm in it a bit. Did he, did he have to force you to take part, or was it something you'd always wanted to do? Um, not really. John Travolta was a bit. Yeah. <laughs> a bit iffy. Hmm. Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. You see why they didn't ask me for ten years? Yeah. <laughs> are, you, are you free in, in 1993? Maybe we could sort something out. <laughs> Who's looking after the kids? Uh, right now. And the sheep and everything. Our eldest daughter. Mm. Can we wave? Please. Which camera? <laughs> <laughs> do, you get, do you get much private life, much privacy? Yeah, I th you have to take it, really, rather than ask for it, you know, so that probably is the serious answer to your question. That's why I don't do too many interviews. Because with the Beatles, we, we did everything we were ever asked to do. Mm -hmm. And that gets you where that got us. And if you do want private life, you have to retire a little bit from that position. Is it As you well know. Is it <laughs> well, I nearly said I'd like to, but actually you've, you've achieved a level of fame, a position that must be rather peculiar. Are you aware of Peculiar. walking through the studio and people actually going, I brushed against him, which it happened about half an hour ago? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Liar, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have any disadvantages for you, the fact that both of you are so well known? I don't think I'm as well known. I actually can walk down the street and not get noticed. Oh. I'll, any, I'll try after tonight, you know. Do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the new song that you've got out has got a, a quite stunning film with it, and we're going to show that in just a moment. Working with Michael Jackson, I just wondered, because you came from a band, a group, is there something about needing people around you? I mean, you work with Stevie Wonder, and you've never really been totally solo. Don't know, really. Um, I suppose you could say that. Why I think I'm doing it is because I like working with a team mm. and um, with Michael for instance I just happened to know him through some song stuff that we got into and uh, I like him a lot so he's very easy to work with and he's fun to work with and stuff so that came about that way Stevie I was uh, it was one of my ambitions to work with somebody like Stevie who's so great that um, you've got to work hard to keep up with these fellows you know they're, they're good mm. And I like that. It's, you know, working on a really good team is, is quite exciting. So I'm not sure if I need to be in a group, really, maybe. Well, I certainly like the film we're going to see because it's, it's taken a, another twist, is not it? It's, I think, the first pop video, whatever you call it, where there is sort of like a little scene at the beginning. I mean, it's almost a total feature film. The director said he wanted to do something a bit different and he wanted to do this uh, bit at the beginning, you know. And uh, so it's his idea, really. Well, let's have a look at it, for the benefit of anyone who hasn't seen it, which is just about the entire population. Say, 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 look, 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 look.
you should really have left the microphone on then, I think, because you were giving me a running commentary about everybody that was in the film. The producer, the director's in. They're all in it. It's done on the cheap. <laughs> <laughs> just, just say again, for the benefit of everybody else, who was in it? Well, the director's the fellow playing pool, who I beat playing pool. The fellow handing the money is over is the producer. And all the people are all the local people. So the, the old guy doing all the that? The old fella, yeah. He's, in fact, uh, after the thing, he got, it went to his head and he's never been seen since. <laughs> That's true, <laughs> That's actually. Really. Whereabouts did you shoot him? It was uh, about an hour and a half outside Los Angeles in uh, the Santa Inez Valley. I was just thinking back to this afternoon where you put me in my place because I, I said that Linda looked so scrumptious in the thing. You said, well, don't I look like that all the time? I was really put down by that. Uh, do you... Oh. Yes, well, it was meant as a huge compliment. Do you find it um, hurtful ever when you read things that people say about you? Because you've been criticised as being Heavily. Over, overbearing Heavily so. and whatever. Mm, I am. <laughs> she is. Oh, anytime. Time. No, uh, yeah, it hurts. Yeah. Um, I think everyone knows it hurts. Anyone who's ever done any kind of interview, people get wrong. Uh, or not so much wrong if they don't like something you've done. Mm. But uh, you've just got to live with it. <laughs> what, about what about challenges? Because I wonder whether... The, is there anything left for you as a challenge? No, no. <laughs> It was a pretty naff question. <laughs> no, no, quite good. right. That really was that, right at the bottom of the Parkinson no, drawer, that one. I thought it was a good one, that. One of your better ones. <laughs> <laughs> but you've done everything. I mean, what's, what's life I haven't all about? Really, I haven't done anything, uh, really. I mean, at the moment, I'm doing a film score. Uh, it's the first time I've ever done one of those. And uh, there's, there's actually lots of things I haven't done. Um, can't think of any right now, but... <laughs> There are no. I can never actually oh, no. think of. Go on. Rideable. Rideable. Ah, we could arrange so, it. You could have so from a helicopter. On the wheel. Wallop. Yeah. No. Put your name up next no, week. No, uh, next week maybe. Quite nice. Like, <laughs> celebrity version of that. Mm. No one big dream. No one big ambition. Well, I mean, things like working with Stevie and Michael, uh, that kind of ambition. To you know, I like working to people with people who are uh, inspiring. Uh, and in truth, I can never think of them when you ask me like this. You know, it's always going home in the car. Oh, I could have told him that. Is he, and, uh, is he a workaholic? You know. Does he spend sort of all the time away? No, I think he just works because he likes it. Like every, I think all people work because they like um, doing something rather than just sitting around looking at the clouds. Mm. I like sitting around looking at the clouds. But yeah, I mean, my thing's music, you know. Uh, so that's easy. Uh, it's not like work, really. Yeah, exactly. It's a pleasure. So, uh, you know, there's moments when it can get very like work. Yeah. But generally, out of the week, you know, most of the time I, I enjoy it. You know, I don't have to go in, but uh, I just like doing it. I like music and what it does to you. Would you describe yourself as a good businessman? Um, vaguely, maybe, but I'm more the music side and the creative side. There's, there's people who work at our office who are better businessmen. Mm. Than me, I try and stay out of a lot of that. And do you get a chance to sort of get away at all? I, mean, I always have this mullock entire vision of you in a cottage somewhere. Could... Yeah, we get away uh, at least once a year to uh, Scotland, yeah. where we do love it there. But the work's down here, kind of thing, and you, you've got to come in. So um, we get away. Yeah. Is he a good family man? Not bad. <laughs> no, he's good. He's good. Especially when I'm asleep. <laughs> no, it's great when he's asleep. Well, i tell you one thing. I'm terribly grateful for you dropping in. I'm sorry if they were the worst questions you've ever faced. No, but, they were uh, really good. In ten years, I mean, what, <laughs> what, can you, what can you really expect? Ladies and gentlemen, Paul and Linda. Oh.